Hello everybody, how are you all today? So in this topic, in this video, I will be discussing about Tableau licensing and the various roles attached to those licenses. So let's get started. So in Tableau, we have different types of licenses. So all those licenses are categorized into four. So one is creator, then is explorer, then comes viewer, then at last comes the unlicensed. Okay, so again, these licenses are further categorized into various uh, you know, roles. So for example, let's see about creator. So creator license has certain roles attached to it. So the top level role is server administrator role and then comes the site administrator role and then the creator and publisher role. So in this topic, uh, uh, in this video, I'll explain only about creator, explorer and viewer license. I will, uh, if, let me know in the comments if you if you'd like to know more about server administrator role or site administrator role. Okay, so next we have Explorer licenses. So in Explorer, again, we have site administrator Explorer role and Explorer can publish and Explorer just Explorer role. So in this video, I'll be just uh, walking you through uh, Explorer can publish and Explorer role. So let me know in comments if you would like to know more about site administrator explorer role so next comes the viewer license so viewer license has just one role that is viewer role and then next comes the unlicensed role so the unlicensed role a, uh, is a role which doesn't have any permissions so anyone who is categorized as unlicensed will not be able to log into Tableau, will not be able to access any of the contents of the Tableau. So why why unlicensed? So unlicensed is a, a role uh, applicable to all those users who previously had access to Tableau, but then their access was removed or they, uh, uh, they are no more uh, they, they no more have access to that so let's see in detail of each of the licenses and the permissions and their roles so let's see the projects so in tableau we have projects so different licenses have different permissions based on the licensing role so on the project side, creator has all the permissions. He can publish, he can view. Whereas explorer can publish, also can view and publish. So this, uh, this is one of the role uh, which explorer can publish have. The next comes the explorer role. Explorer can view but cannot publish. Again, next comes the viewer role. Viewer can view the projects uh, but cannot publish onto the project folder. So next we have workbook level permissions. So even the workbook level permissions, creator will have all the permissions and even the explorer can publish has all these permissions that creator has. But explorer has just limited permissions till the web edit. Explorer cannot overwrite, cannot refresh metrics, cannot uh, uh, cannot delete or cannot set permissions. Also, Explorer um, cannot move the workbooks from one place to another place. And viewer license is further restricted. Viewer can also viewer can view the workbooks, filter the workbooks, view comments, add some comments, download image PDF, download summary data they will not be able to download the full data and ex run explain data next we data sources again creator and explorer can publish has all that 
whereas explorer just has view connect and download data source access and viewer is further restricted to just view and connect to the data source next we have data roles so in the data roles as well again creator and explorer publish explorer can publish has all the permissions uh, we can even you know restrict explorer can publish or creator um, to not allow them to delete not allow them to move we can uh, as an administrator so administrator can set those permissions but <clears throat> creator will have um, those permissions so it's up to administrator how they set up permissions for each of these licensing roles so next we have explorer explorer can just view the data role and will not be able to override so by default will not be able to override move delete uh, or set permissions so even though administrator wants explorer to override or move or delete so by default it has not allowed to do it so even though uh, administrator tries to allow explorer then it will not work for explorer explorer will not be able to overwrite move or delete data roles then same thing with the viewer so viewer will have uh, just the view capability in the data roles so next we have tableau prep flows so <clears throat> in tableau prep flows uh, again creator will have all creator and explorer can publish will have all the roles available for them uh, by default and then explorer have just limited uh, permissions view download flow web edit and viewer has further restricted to just view the flows so this was overall about tableau licenses and various roles that are attached to those licenses so uh, <clears throat> so the screenshots that i have shown you is the default roles and the permissions that are set to each of these licensing roles but based on our project needs the administrator the site administrator or server administrator can decide what permissions to restrict to creator and to give to uh, to allow for creator to have so overall deciding on the permissions uh, uh, allowing or de uh, denying will be in the hands of administrator so i hope uh, i have uh, covered the licensing topic so if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section so that i can answer you your questions so until then take care thanks for watching